Hi, welcome to Learnora, the Learning Lab. Ever wondered what special purpose frameworks are in the context of CPA audits and attestations? This concept refers to financial reporting frameworks that are not based on generally accepted accounting principles or GA app. They are designed to meet the financial information needs of specific users and are also known as Other Comprehensive Bases of Accounting or OCBOA. These frameworks come into play when GBLAP financial statements are not required and another basis of accounting may be more appropriate due to the nature of the business or the requirements of the financial statement users. Now let's delve into some commonly used special purpose frameworks. Firstly, we have the cash basis. This is a simple accounting framework where transactions are recorded only when cash changes hands. Picture a scenario where revenue is recognized when cash is received and expenses are recognized when cash is paid out. This framework is often modified to include certain accruals like depreciation. Next we have the tax basis. This framework is used to prepare financial statements in accordance with tax laws and regulations. Imagine preparing financial statements to accompany an entity's tax return, reflecting income and deductions as reported for tax purposes. Then there's the regulatory basis. Some entities must prepare financial statements in accordance with the rules and regulations of a regulatory agency. Consider, for instance, insurance companies that might use a regulatory basis of accounting prescribed by a state insurance commission. The contractual basis is another framework where financial statements are prepared to comply with the terms of a contract or agreement. Think of a loan agreement requiring financial statements to be presented in a certain way that is not in accordance with GABLAP or International Financial Reporting Standards. Lastly, we have the other basis. This refers to any other basis of accounting that uses a definite set of logical, reasonable criteria applied to all material items appearing in financial statements. It is a catch-all category for frameworks that do not fall under the other specified categories. Remember, while these frameworks provide alternatives to GDA app, they are not considered GABLAP app themselves. The choice of framework hinges on the specific needs of the financial statement users and the agreement between the entity and its stakeholders. Auditors, therefore, must ensure that the use of a special purpose framework is appropriate and that the financial statements are presented fairly in accordance with the chosen framework. In a nutshell, special purpose frameworks offer alternative accounting methods to Jebo App. They are designed to cater to the specific needs of certain businesses and financial statement users, providing a more suitable way to present financial information. Whether it's the cash basis, tax basis, regulatory basis, contractual basis, or other basis, each of these frameworks has its own unique set of rules and applications. However, their use must always be appropriate and fair, as auditors will attest. And that concludes our exploration of special purpose frameworks in the context of CPA audits and attestations. Until next time, keep on learning. Learnora, your learning lab.